Your <laughs> what up guys? So obviously here you see a bike that you kind of don't tend to see in my garage, but I wish you guys would see it in my garage. This is Hugo's. You guys know Hugo. Hugo's been on the few rides with me. Um, this is his 48, and today we're gonna be changing out these stock pipes, which sounds horrible, into some Vanson Hines short shots. These things are beautiful. They're amazing. I always recommend Vanson Hines for any sportsters. I think they just make the best sounds for anything. Any any sportster out there, it's just really good and they look amazing as well so this, this is a small one um and we're gonna be installing that right now so we're gonna get into the video if you guys are looking into getting any type of pipes for your sportster um speaking from uh I used to be sportster owner uh, i had my iron 883 and i had some vanson high slip-ons uh i should have gone with a full exhaust system but at the time obviously i couldn't afford it but yeah, I did some uh, slip-ons on there. I love them. I love the way it sounds. But with the full exhaust, you're gonna get obviously a little more performance, amazing sound, and it's gonna make your bike look a lot better as well. So first things first, what we're gonna do is start taking off the bolts that hold the exhaust onto the bracket of the bike. We're gonna take that off, and then we're gonna go ahead and move up to the bolts up here, which connect the exhaust onto the engine. And it should be a pretty simple install. It shouldn't take you more than an hour. Um, just FYI, I am not a mechanic. I'm just okay with my hands, like, okay. Um, so if I could do it, you could do it. So what do we tell everybody? Anything that I'm gonna be working on my bike, anything that I'm able to do, you're able to do, guys. All right, so we'll start with the first one in the back now. This thing should be really, really easy to take off, guys. Really easy to take off. All right, so you're gonna have two bolts in the bottom. They're gonna be connecting the exhaust to the uh, bracket. So we're gonna go ahead and take those off for now. All right, so we now have the uh, two bolts off that are connecting the exhaust to the bracket. So we're gonna go ahead and with this, we're gonna just wiggle it. Put a little muscle into it. We're gonna go up and down, side to side. And it's coming out. It's coming. Uh, and it's a boy. Yes. And there we go. All right, guys, so what do you want to do next is take off the heat shields, because by taking off the heat shields, it's going to give you a little more space to work around and get these bolts uh, down just right into where, where we're trying to get the, the pipe out of. If you have a drill, this is much faster than doing it with the uh, flathead guys. So I definitely got to get um, one of those little heads for my drill. All right, guys, so we got one heat shield off. We're going to go ahead and take the other one out. As you can see here, I have more space now to play around um, with the gasket here and take that off. Two heat shields off. All right guys, so now that we have both heat shields off, we're gonna go ahead and start taking off these exhaust heads. Um, right before we do that, uh, matter of fact, yeah, we'll just do that. And then we'll take off the uh, O2 sensors. We'll disconnect them from the bike. Well, some people do sometimes that they'll go ahead and disconnect the O2 sensors on the pipes while they're on, it's, it's pretty dumb. So just disconnect the O2 sensors from the bike. That way when you take the whole exhaust off, it'll be connected through the pipe and it'll be much easier for you to take the O2 sensors off afterwards. Remember, you're gonna be using those O2 sensors once again. That stays with the exhaust. That it, it should fit your new exhaust, guys. All right, guys, so one of the O2 sensors is gonna be in the back. So you're just gonna go ahead and take this kit off here. Um, your O2 sensor is gonna be connected right here on top. Like that, and then we'll go ahead and find the other O2 sensor from the front. All right, your other O2 sensor is also going to be on this side as well. So you're going to click in here, and pop her out. All right, so we can just go ahead and take everything off now. The hardest part is done. All right guys, so the next few steps are gonna be to take these uh, flanges off here and the O2 sensors off. So we'll start with this first. I have this pretty cool tool here that separates these right here. Don't go ahead and uh, try to take them off with um, 
with, with a flathead screwdriver. I mean, you could, but this is this is so easy because this literally spreads this out and it pops right out just like that. You might have seen other videos when people are like struggling to take these things off. It's literally that easy. And then this obviously pops off like that. Apart, take it off. This comes off again. Save that because I said before we're going to be reusing this. And all we're going to do is disconnect these uh, O2 sensors off. And we're done with all the old crap here. So it's just a little twist and then you can take the rest off by hand. And we are going to be reusing these O2 sensors, like I said. We're going to put them on our new Vanson Hines short shots. All right, guys, so this is the bracket that Vanson Hines sends you uh, in order for you to install your pipes and put them right in the bracket. And then, then the bracket goes installed right onto your bike. So we're going to see where exactly where you're going to go ahead and install that. All right, so I think we're going to go ahead and take this part off uh, in order to take this old piece off and then um, put this right on the bike. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Alright guys, so we couldn't take off this part here because I'm just missing a head uh, to take this tool off. But I was able to take off uh, the whole front uh, brake from the front, which is going to allow us and give us space to do this for here from the front right now. So that is a win-win. Now all we're going to do is take off this part and that's going to go replaced with this right here. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and put some Loctite on our bolt, a little bit right there. Put it in. And I'm going to put this in, but I'm not going to tighten it up all the way because we still might have to adjust the um, the pipes. Once we put the pipes onto the top, uh, onto the back bracket here, we might have to adjust and play around with it. So I don't want to go ahead and tighten it up all the way. So I got the front one out. All right guys, so I actually went ahead and I tightened everything up because um, we got to put this cover on and we got to make space for the pipes to play around with everything and we got to put this back where it goes so it won't be in the way, so it's fine. If we got to make any changes, we'll go ahead and we'll, and we can take off and put whatever back on, but it should be good. So this is real easy. Take your O2 sensor and just literally screw it back on there. Just like that. And we'll get our wrench and just give it a nice little tighten up in there. That's not it. Alright guys, the next step now is gonna be to put on our flanges. So this side, uh, this piece is gonna go first. Make sure to leave this part out where you see those little lips right there because that's what's going to hold these clips in right here. So we go ahead, put it in first. We're going to get our tool to separate this flange here. So you put it right in there. Put it on top. Stretch it out. Let it pop in there. Just like that. Look how simple and easy that was. All right, baby, we're ready to rock. We're ready to rock. So one thing we're gonna do here now is take out the old uh, flanges that there are inside of the pipe. So we got these two new ones. Uh, you just go to your local Harley dealership and pick this up. Um, since this bike is, you know, it's been used for a while, um, he's had it for maybe two years already, so you definitely want to change him out. On my bike, when I did my stall, I didn't change him out because it's basically a brand new bike, and I didn't really have, you know, it's, if it's a new bike, it's fine. You don't have to change him out. But if it's an old bike, I would definitely recommend you to uh, change him out. 
Now, if you have a pair of needle pliers, this might work better. I don't have any right now, so I'm just trying to like wedge in there with my uh, flathead and we'll pop it out. All right, so we got the old one out. This is what it looks like. We'll put the new one back in there now. Wedge it in there, nice and clean. Just FYI, guys, when, after you do this and you turn your exhaust on, you will get some smoke. Don't be scared if you see some white smoke coming out of your engine or your pipe heads, anything like that. That's just your new exhaust settling down with uh, your new flange. All right, so we're gonna go ahead now. <clears throat> Pass the sensor over to the back. And uh, put this in place. Let's have an eye work. We're gonna be um, going back and forth. We'll tighten up the top a little. We'll tighten up the bottom bolt. And we'll go little by little. You, you don't wanna go ahead and um, uh, tighten up just one bolt all the way. So this tool right here that I used before to separate the uh, the clips, guys, has actually been a good help. Kind of uh, put it in there and squeeze, and it's acting like a plier. So I think this guy owes me like a box of beer or something, right? He, he owes me something. Man, I got me a. Me da como algunos 200 pesos o una, una caja de cerveza, tal vez. No, no sé cuál todavía. Una crédito. <laughs> ¿Por qué cerveza? Oye, la cerveza me dio rara cuando ponías en los videos. Me gusta la cerveza rara. ¿En serio? Sí, me gustan los, los IPAs mucho. Me gustan. Oye, yo veo mucho corona. ¿Sí? Corona, ya está. Corona, veo. ¿Sabes qué? Moreno. All right guys, so the bracket is now installed to the muffler. Everything is bolted in. I already went ahead and I tightened everything up here um, from the front, both heads. So the exhaust system is ready to go. All we got to do now is put the heat shields on. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe everything off just in case if later on he wants to take it off and maybe have it from that, which I doubt. But very, very important guys. Anytime you do any type of uh, exhaust installs, you go ahead and you wipe everything down because if you go ahead and turn on your exhaust your fingerprints will get printed on there with the heat and they'll never come off so nice little wipe a nice little wipe goes a long way that didn't rhyme but yeah all right so here when he went ahead and he um put in the rings here i'm just gonna open them up so we just it'll be very easy for just us to put them on there so we're gonna go ahead, slip this in from the back, latch it on there. Very nice. Very nice. That's already looking amazing, guys. I cannot wait to turn this bike on and see what it sounds like. What do you guys think so far? I love the black that look on these pipes. Looking really good. All right, guys. So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe these pipes down right now because we don't want our fingerprints to get melted on to these exhausts after we turn them on. Looks beautiful. He is super happy right now. I can't wait to you guys hear what this sounds like. Beautiful. Tell me what you guys Whoa. think so far. All right, guys. So if you, this is what you're into, and if you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell button right now. Um, we're going to go ahead, take the bike outside, and see what she sounds like, baby. All right, guys. So we're all set. He is super excited. He can't wait to turn his bike on. Um, like I said before, if um, you might turn it on, you might see some white smoke now or maybe later on or even the second time you turn it on. Completely normal. That's just the exhaust um, and the flange coming in together. And um, don't worry about it. After, once, uh, one, after you turn it on once or twice, it'll happen never again. So without further ado, you go. Go ahead. Okay. All right. And here we go.
<laughs> all right, so obviously he's happy. You guys see the, the big smile on his face. Sounds amazing. Um, so obviously you're gonna be getting more performance now from this bike. Uh, super, super dope. I always recommend Vincent Hines for any sportster, guys. These short shots are always a plus. If you have an iron 83 or if you have a sports 48, definitely go with these Vincent Hines uh, short shots. They, 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 like, even in, in camera, you probably not to get the full sound from it, guys, but I'm telling you in person, it just, it sounds, like a monster, a breathing, living monster. Um, like I said before, guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We do reviews, we do installs, we do group rides. By the way, next week, I'm gonna be doing a group ride next Sunday. If you're in the local area, hit me up. We're gonna be doing the, um, we're gonna be doing Delaware Waterloop, so tune in for that. If you wanna know any more information on that, follow me on my Instagram, it's the same name as my uh, YouTube, MarbleKid87. Um, like always, Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.